So I want to show you how you can add a chart to a joined report in Salesforce. And you may be finding this video because this button here is grayed out on your joined report. The reason that is is because you don't have any groupings in any of your blocks on your joined report. These are different tabular report formats or basically tables. There's no row grouping and or column grouping in these underlying reports in this joined report. And so in order to turn on the add chart button we need to edit our joined report and provide a row grouping we have our different blocks here we have our accounts block which is this one and here are the different uh, columns that we have and then our custom report type block is the green colored one here and then this orangish red contacts and accounts is this third block all right so what we need to do is group across blocks and we've got accounts and accounts and then as well these are contacts with their corresponding accounts one common denominator across all three blocks would be account name so we can group by account name and so now I'm going to save this but you notice that the add chart button is now available so I'm now I can add a chart to my joined report and you can click the gear icon here for chart properties to select a different chart component. So most of these components are available. I'm going to do donut because who doesn't like donuts and I'll go ahead and save this and then we'll click run to see this from the end user perspective and so now we've got a chart added to our joined report. So you've got the chart at the top and then you've got the details down below in your joined report. So if you found this Salesforce tip helpful, please do subscribe, like this video, leave a comment if you would. And until next time, I'll see you in the cloud.